Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's video is going to be on my Monomoria Minimum account, but this is not really going to be that big of an update video. This video is showing off, well, an uptual flight that they're having. As what many of you guys have known, this colony has had elates for a very long time now. Uh, the majority of them are now only male elates, as you can see here, um, mainly because all the queen elates have officially became normal queens. As you can see, these uh, <laughs> these males are very mate hungry. You could say they're uh, you know they they want to mate with something, uh, but they don't really know what. Seeing as all the queen elates have now became queens, as I've said, they're all just sort of trying to fly out of this uh, little nest. But I can't exactly allow that. You can see that they are climbing all across the wall here. Uh, here's also a little bit of this uh, you know egg action there, uh, many many eggs and even some larvae there. But, the Elates have been trying to fly out for a very long time now, and this time I actually managed to catch a flight, well, them trying to have a flight. These guys are trying to fly because it is around about the time of year that Monomoria Minimum fly, which is during the spring. These guys have been trying to fly even in the past nest, there were small little mock flights, including both males and queens, but they never really got anywhere, nor did they ever get to this extent. The reason why they are now having a big flight is mainly because of, well, there being high humidity and literally zero wind within this nest. The nest, the dirt nest actually has a airtight lid, so barely any air ever gets into this setup besides from whenever I open it every single day in order to let in some fresh air and also to feed them. The above ground activity that this colony has is absolutely awesome, and I absolutely love just watching the huge hordes of workers just trying to go and find food. Even the queens will walk up onto the above ground area and just sort of walk around and even have few eggs out. You can see here that I put in a water tower, a uh, sugar water tower to be exact, that is going to be very hard to get out. <laughs> Here's going to be a small little time lapse of what you can see is the little food tray that I put in there. Uh, this is not the normal amount of food that I give them. Normally I give them way more, but due to the flights, I can't really open up the lid and put in a bunch of food. So I just use a little bottle cap, put in as much food as I could, and then just dropped it in and immediately shut the, uh, the lid. You can see how much activity there is during this time lapse. As you can see in the corner there, they are just absolutely running throughout this uh, setup. Here is where most of the male elates are conjugating. They are all conjugating in this little corner and climbing up. Uh, when they get up, they try to take off kind of, but then they end up falling right back down and they start climbing up once again. They're kind of in this perpetual cycle of trying to fly, but they are failing because there's a lid. But yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like it if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. Uh, you still got a few minutes of just footage of these ants, so uh, enjoy that if you want, if that's your type of thing. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Uh, it's Pia. P Pia? Peace. See ya. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm gonna keep this in.